Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're making more bad decisions just for you guys. <laughs> I'm just eating, dude. <laughs> you guys asked, we're answering. Today we're gonna be using sea foam as gasoline. We got half a gallon of this. We actually just went to Walmart. Can so. we see all these? All of them? Yes. Alright. It's a party, guys. But like, are, are kids literally like huffing sea foam? Like, is that, is that the new thing? Know, like, so the plan is, put a half a gallon of sea foam in the Miata after completely draining the gas tank and seeing if it runs. And if it doesn't run, slash if it barely runs, can we make it run better through tuning the car? For some reason, he talks really quiet, so whenever he talks, move closer to him. I talk louder when I'm like talking initially to the closer. camera. I'm being serious though. Like, All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drain the gas in this 90 Mazda freaking Yada over here. Then what we're gonna do is put six of these freaking cans, these nice, nice looking cans of sea foam as gasoline. You see now, we're gonna see if this little Mazda Miata can run on sea foam. That's what we're gonna do today because I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna test that theory out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Calm down there, Dale. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so guys, we just got brand new merch. Not kind of brand new. We changed the color scheme. We got a new supplier now. That sounds kind of druggy. But uh, yeah, the back says Novice Garage. The front says Just Send It with a bent piston. We'll be selling them here shortly. If you're interested in buying one, they're 20 bucks free shipping. So $20 flat, no extra shipping costs. Mm. Click the link in the description below. It'll take you to our store. You can buy one and Rep novice garage. This is like Scotty Kilmer right now. Well, this is a hose, and what you do to your irritating co workers is. Oh, shit. That actually hurt. Then you gotta hook it up to the fuel line. Ready? Ready? Boom! Gasoline goes everywhere. You got, you got me. So <laughs> Zoom in on this. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> he whipped me. He whipped my ass. Bro, look at the shit. I got you right there. Look at my legs. <laughs> Okay, so before we put the seafoam in the tank, we're gonna completely drain the gas tank like we normally do. So it'll be 100% seafoam. Drop a comment right now, what do you think is gonna happen? And by the way guys, seafoam, for any of y'all that don't know, seafoam, I'm just gonna read it off the the, uh, the can right here. Cleans injectors, clean your carb jets, we don't have any of those. Uh, control moisture and fuels. I mean, this car gets all kinds of moist, so. A ball of energy, I just have like just randomly and just randomly shoots out of nowhere. And now you're quiet again. All right, so doing the same thing we've done the, the previous three or so videos. Uh, luckily, I did not uh, plug the wrong hole and have the horn come on and scare the living bejesus out of Joe and I. Again, what this is doing for any of you all that this is the first video you're watching, this manually overrides the fuel pump and turns it on and keeps it on. That way we can pump all the fuel out. Yeah, that's what clean gas should look like. <laughs> okay, so another thing we're gonna do this video, we're gonna take the spark plug out and we're gonna look at the spark plug. <laughs> and keep in mind, these plugs are like maybe 100 miles on them. But as you can see, they're pretty black. This is a before shot, and near the end of this video, we'll give you the after shot of what it looks like. Yeah, so as you can tell, the inside of my engine is full of carbon and black, nasty stuff that you would find in a chimney. Maybe this running straight seafoam will honestly, it might even clean my cylinders out and my valves. I mean, it could do a lot worse, but we're gonna be optimistic about this. Quick novice garage tip, guys. Whenever you're putting in spark plugs, don't over tighten them. You can strip the head threads very easily, so don't over tighten them. Gas tank is empty. We reconnected the fuel line. We're gonna show you guys it is empty right now. I'm gonna hop in the car real quick, start it, show you guys. Just to prove that it is in fact empty. There's no gas in it. Gas gauge, I don't know if you can see that. As you can see, gas gauge is empty. And car is not starting. Time to put the sea foam in. That triple action wonder. What does it smell like? But like, are, are kids literally like huffing sea foam? Like, is that, is that the new thing? Like, you're gonna waft it, guys. Never huff it. Waft it. That's what that's what they this, taught us in science. And this is why we get carded at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Before we do it, predictions from all three of us. What do you think is gonna happen? It's not gonna run. So we got. It's not gonna run. Joe, what about you? I think it'll start, but not idle. Okay, yeah, Joe. I'll go with that. Start, 
but then it'll die. Okay, I'm gonna say it's gonna run for at least 30 seconds. Drop a comment right now. What do you think is gonna happen? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Another fucking ad break. Sorry. It runs. It runs. Wait, 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 hold on. I started a little bit late, but I gotta make sure I prove myself right on this one. Oh, oh. come on. Yeah. 20 more seconds and I win. Yes! <laughs> this would be a really loud goat. <laughs> I'm trying to see what the AFRs are like right now. air fuel ratio at first was very rich and then it went very lean so I don't think the oxygen center is getting a good reading from what's happening this is our air fuel ratio okay so it's reading pretty fairly rich right now and it has a spike going lean let's see if she drives Now it's time to check the spark plug, because I'm curious how the plugs look. Part horrible. Let's take a look. All right guys, same thing as before. It, yeah, it just, it looks wet. Really not that much of a difference. We also didn't run it that long either. All right, we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna put, so we put half a gallon of seafoam in, right? We're gonna put half a gallon of gas in it and see how that does. Little, little shish so to continue this experiment, we can't really measure half a gallon of gas just by pouring this directly into the tank. So what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna fill each empty can of seafoam up with gasoline and then pour this in. So we'll have exactly a 50-50 uh, 93 octane and seafoam mix. I can't tell how full it is. I see you have yet to learn the shake three times rule, right? But don't shake it four times, that's weird. It's hot! Uh... Oh god, there's four of them. All right, let's see what happens. It should start and run okay now. actually doing pretty good on the 50-50 mix. So we came to the conclusion, you technically can run a vehicle on this straight seafoam, but it's not gonna run really, really hold too great. Mm -mm. But seafoam with half gasoline, it runs okay. I mean, you can do donuts in it, so that's a big plus. <laughs> but on that, I mean, it, it runs just fine, not fine, but I mean, it, it yep. runs okay-ish when you do a 50-50 mix, but straight seafoam, no, not really, don't. No, no. I will give it this. It's not the worst fuel we've tried. I think RC fuel was definitely a lot worse. So there you guys have it. We were planning on doing some kind of tuning with it, but the fact of the matter is our air fuel ratio is all over the place. We don't really know if the car would benefit from adding more fuel on the table or taking away fuel from the table. It's one of those things like either way we go, any way we go, it's just not gonna run right. Yeah, it's so, gonna run freaking horribly. Either way, Cool experiment, I'm glad we did it. Now we know seafoam straight does not really work, but 50-50 does. If you're caught in a pinch on the side of the road, 
and you're out of gas, well, technically could use seat foam, you just could. like limp yourself to the gas station. I gotta do donuts on brand new tires. Sorry, bud. Yeah, it's hard to complain. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. But yeah, drop a comment, the most liked comment. We will run with it. As long as it has a chance of working the Miata, we'll try it. That was fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm.